Recently, I'm starting to see the Benny the Butcher situation in 2020 come back up, where he was robbed and shot in uh, Houston, Texas. And the latest situation with Takeoff being killed in Houston shows that there's nothing new under the sun. And I'm not talking about the son of Jay Prince, no pun intended. You know, one of the definitions of insanity is doing the same thing the same way and expecting a different outcome. I mean, just like all these young and successful black men getting shot and killed for much of nothing. I hope that we can kill the narrative that protecting your most prized and valued possession, which is your life, is lame. See, we've been tricked to believe that when you make it out, you don't become a bigger target or that every skin folk is kin folk instead of an enemy. You see, everybody is not proud of your accomplishments, only because your accomplishments remind them of what they haven't accomplished, which invites a spirit so demonic, it prays for the chance to destroy everything that you have done. You see, I got more hate than love when I posted this video a while back, but that's only because the spirit of jealousy blinded most from the message. You see, a lot of people took it as me giving J. Prince a lot of praise and deriding. That's because they let envy overpower their ability to hear the message. You see, I don't see the same comments when it comes to Elon Musk and Jeff Bezos and Mark Zuckerberg and etc. Shit, even the most peaceful people such as Martin Luther King, Muhammad Ali, Nelson Mandela, and even our Lord and Savior needed security. You see, having security don't mean that you're a bad person or that you're weak, scary, or lame. Nah, it means you know your worth and you're willing to protect that at all costs. Let's bless our youth with the wisdom and the game so they won't be killed. And instead, kill the narrative. And here go a little free game for you. Protect your life. Rest easy, take off into all the others who were taken because of ignorance. And like I always say at this time, it's Roe. Y'all bless.